Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Facebook Live. I'm going to wait just a second for people to jump on board and get myself set up here so I can see my recording. Hi Lisa, you're the first one in tonight. Carrie, you're a quick second. How are you? Hi Anne Marie. Welcome. Make sure you leave a comment when you pop on so you'll get entered into the drawing for a um, door prize. You'll get a, there's a drawing for commenting, there's a drawing for sharing the video. Don't forget to click on that share button. And then hit that like button. That really helps me out too and I do appreciate it. Hi Kelly, hi Sandy, Debbie, welcome. Another Sandy, welcome. Elaine, good to see you. I hope you don't have any streaming problems tonight. I know that can be a problem. Hi, Linda. Nanette, welcome. Montreal, Canada. Is it cold up there, Anne-Marie? Mary, welcome. Kathy Sanford, glad to have you. Paula, welcome. We've got another Sandy coming in from Illinois. Candy's on board. I have some great projects lined up for you. I have been stamping all day long. And I don't know if we're going to get through all of them, but rest assured, if we don't get through them tonight, I'll either share them on my blog in videos this week, or I will um, save them for next Sunday. So you will get to see them. I will be live again on January 20th at 7 p.m. Central Time. So... Put that on your calendar. Hi, Michelle Klein. Joyce, welcome. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the mail that I've received this week because I got some really, really cute cards in the mail this week. Um, two of them were from that um, So Happy For You, the frog stamp set that's part of our free celebration offering. So here's one of them. Isn't that just adorable? Um, she used washi tape. That's what these black, the black is on both sides here. And then, of course, some of that beautiful gingham paper. Super, super cute. And then here's the other one. These were made by one of my demonstrator friends for our monthly swap. So you guys saw last week all the frog cards that I showed you. These are part of that. Oh, somebody's in Vegas. I just missed your name. Who's in Vegas? Somebody is in Vegas. I hope you're having a fabulous time. Um, I'm trying to find you again. Nope, it just flew up too fast. I love Vegas. I got married in Vegas. Yeah, my husband and I went there and we got married at the Chapel by the Courthouse. That was the name of it. We stayed at the Stardust, which is no longer there. But every time we go to Vegas now, we stay at the Flamingo. I love their little outdoor bar. I just sit out there and watch people, and I can do that for hours. It's crazy. All right, next card. Well, this is kind of cute because when I opened this up, I'm like, hey, I made that card. <laughs> it's from my mom. <laughs> and she was sending me um, a thank you for the Christmas gifts card. So isn't that cute? <laughs> Like, hey, that's one of my cards. <laughs> I also got a card from uh, Lisa German. And, oh, <clears throat> this card was a thank you for the Get Well card I sent to her son. Um, one of my demonstrator's grandsons is just very, very ill. This poor little boy. He's seven or eight years old. And um, so I asked my team to send him Get Well cards. And apparently he loved them. I just saw Las Vegas come through again, and it flew up so fast. I'm so sorry I can't find it again. I don't know what's happening to it. It's very strange. I wonder if I'm going the wrong way on here. Nope, I'm not. Okay, well, I wish you luck. I hope you win lots of money. Do the Wheel of Fortune um, slot machines. I love them. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much. Hi, Julie Brooke. And this card is from Barbara Pike. Look at how beautiful this is. And this is using the new um, Hummingbird set that's in the Occasions Mini Catalog. And um, she was thanking me 
for hosting the pizza party with my friends Barb and Dina during convention in Orlando. So how sweet of her to do that, right? That was really nice. We hosted a pizza party for our team when we were down in Florida. We had so much fun. Speaking of team, um, welcome to all my new demonstrators this week. I hope you're able to watch tonight. I had uh, so many people buy the discount shopper kit in the last week or so since celebration started. And Claudia is one of them. Hi, Claudia. Um, so thank you guys so much. I'm glad that you um, are putting your trust in me to be your team leader. And if anybody else is interested in that discount shopper kit, there is a... Um, category on the right hand column of my blog and my blog is www.astampabove.com and if you scroll down until you see $99 kit click on that and it'll answer a whole bunch of questions. I've even got a video on there showing you how to order your kit. Right now during celebration you can get the discount shopper kit for $99 and you get $175 worth of product and you get to choose all of that product like you get to choose everything. They don't like pick things out for you to be part of that $175. You get to pick the whole thing. So, hi Steve Atchison from the Living Room Easy Share. He will not share my video. I, I don't know what I can do to get him to share my video. Isn't that crazy? So here's another card that I received. We're gonna be using this adorable um, Flowering Desert stamp set tonight. I had so much fun with it this afternoon. This is from um, Shannon West. She is part of our training program at Stampin' Up! And she's sending me a card saying, I'm catching up on all my recognition cards. Slow po hashtag Slowpoke. Congrats on reaching 700,000. So thank you, Shannon West. That was awesome. I love this stamp set. And then I received a card from... Jenny Miller, and she told me I could feel free to post it, so I think I'll actually show you guys how to make this. Not tonight, but at some time. Isn't this the cutest thing? There's that frog set again. This is free during celebration. Now, back to that discount shopper kit. I want to let you guys know the only thing that you cannot get with the discount shopper kit it are the celebration items, but once you buy that kit, you can go on and order, and every time you reach $50, you do get free celebration um, items of your choice, and a lot of people have been asking me a lot of questions about it. I think I have a video coming out on Wednesday for my tip video answering all these questions about the discount shopper kit, but can I just say that there's no drawbacks, there's no strings attached. Um, if you have an order around $100 or, you know, if you have a $50 order now and maybe you can place a $50 order next month, put them together and, and spend $99. You get free shipping, okay? So if you were to order $175 worth of product, you'd pay $17.50 for that in shipping. Shipping is free on the Discount Shopper Kit and um, it's the best deal of the year. So... Consider that. If you have any questions, let me know. Pop me an email, leave me a message, send me a private message. I'm happy to answer, but I've got a ton of new members on my team. And um, that's why Stampin' Up! Is, has the best, this is the best time of the year. Celebration. Okay, then I have another card to share. Look at this beautiful card. Let me make sure I've got it in my frame here. This is from Sarah Simon. She's one of my team members. And um, she sent me a, sending me a thank you card. Uh, because she won the stamp set. Yeah, as part of my team, I have door prize drawings at our team meeting every month, which I broadcast live, just like this, on our team page. So everybody can participate. And if you watch live at home as part of my team, you get entered into the door prize drawings just like you were there. So Sarah won a stamp set, and um, I think I also helped her out with some cardstock. Yeah. She, we do this back and forth constantly. Oh my gosh, I'm completely out of petal pink cardstock. Do you have any? Yes, I do. And we go back and forth and we share and that's wonderful. I love doing that. Okay, let me get through some of my announcements here. I do have my phone plugged in. Oh, um, somebody just asked me a question. Don't you have to spend so much money each quarter? Okay, Sylvia, that's a great question. And all of those answers are on that in that um, $99 kit button, but I will answer. 
you do have to spend $300 a quarter to stay active. So if you want to continue being a discount shopper, yes, it's $100 a month. And with your discount, you get a 20% discount on everything you order. It's really only $80 a month, right? Because you get $20 off for that 20% discount. You do have to spend $300 or $80, you know, uh, three times. That's math is hard. <laughs> um, and um, to remain active. But if you don't remain active, nothing happens to you. You just get dropped and you're no longer a discount shopper. So like I said, there are no strings attached. So a lot of people can do it for a while and then they find that they have enough supplies now and they drop and then they continue to order anything they need in the future from me or they re-sign again. Um, you, can, you can buy that starter kit again from the same demonstrator after you've dropped. So, and um, Kate's watching in the car again coming home from a birthday party. Charlene says, if we drop, can we get back in later? Yes. Um, you have to wait until you are officially dropped. And so if you were to buy that discount shopper kit right now, you get until the end of June to reach that $300 um, quota. And then you'll go into pending for a month. And once you're in pending, you have, like I said, a month. 30 days to catch up. So you actually get till the end of July to use your discount shopper um, status. So it's a, it's a really good deal. I'm not kidding. And yes, you can rejoin at any time. Um, you have to wait like 90 days if you want to rejoin with a different demonstrator. But if you're going to rejoin with the same one, you can join as soon as you're, um, you're officially dropped by Stampin' Up. So somebody's in San Diego. My sister-in-law lives there. Um, okay. So if you guys missed it, I have a brand new online class that went live and I have some cards to share with you for that online class. And I think they're in here. Yes, they are. So these were a couple cards that I made using the Forever Lovely. If you happen to miss it, oh my gosh, it is so, so, so pretty. I think I'm going to turn off my special effects here where it brightens the screen so you can see this card better. Isn't That's better, isn't it? Yeah. This is so pretty. This is a die under here and then the stamps match. This Forever Lovely, I have an online class. And again, if you go to my blog, all of my online classes are in the right-hand column. You just click on the button that says online classes and you can see all of them. And these were a couple more cards made with this whole bundle of products. Oops, let me make sure I get it in the screen. Super, super beautiful. The online class is free if you order the bundle from me. And all of that information is right there on my blog under online classes. Um, otherwise, you can pay $25 for it. Now, I always like to tell my demonstrators, if you join my team, you get to um, choose any of my online classes that are $20 or less for free. Yay. This one is $25 because it's got eight different beautiful cards plus a box and six a set of six matching cards. And it's an amazing online class all for $25. Melanie, thanks. <laughs> this isn't new. It's the same tier that I always wear. But it must look really extra good tonight, huh? <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, um, don't forget that I have gift certificates available. Uh, Larry, or Kate, yes, my classes are the same as Barb's. And it does say that in the, um, in the description of the classes that I, I am in collaboration with Dina and Barb on online classes. Now, um, sometimes we, we are not in collaboration, so you just need to read Read the wording and it'll tell you if um, it's the same class. So that's a great question. Um, don't forget gift certificates, any amount that you want. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you're watching me tonight and you would like to receive our catalogs, I would be happy to put them in, a, in the mail. So just um, private message me with your address and ask, tell me which catalogs you need. Do you need the big annual catalog? Do you need the occasions catalog? Celebration brochure. There's three of them right now. I would be more than happy to send those to you. And um, don't forget I have orders going in every Thursday. I just had the sweetest woman call me over the weekend from Delaware to place an order. 
And um, sometimes people don't like to order online, and I, I get that. It's okay. I'm happy to help you do that. Hi, Mary Elson. Welcome. And don't forget to share my video. You guys that are all popping on here, click on that share button. You can do it right now. If you're watching later on YouTube, please click on the share button. And also, there's a bell on YouTube. Click on that to ring that bell, and that'll pop up notifications when I have new videos coming on there. Um, please make sure that if you're sharing this video that you're not sharing it to my pages. So um, sometimes people have been sharing it to my, um, my VIP page. If you're in my VIP group, please don't do that. I have a schedule and I share that video to that group tomorrow morning. So if you're going to click share, you're going to share it on your own personal page or in a group that you belong to. Um, and make sure if you are one of my new discount shoppers, I always like to remind you that the place for demonstrator questions is on our demonstrator team Facebook page, not here on my Facebook Live. We want to keep demonstrator chatter out of the mix here. This is a stamping class that's open to the public and any demonstrator questions need to be um, put on that demonstrator team Facebook page or you can feel free to email, email me too. Okay, let's get to our winners. Are you guys ready for winners? I'm ready for winners. All right, for comments from last week, uh, January 6th, our big winner is Kay Ackers from Boise, Idaho. And Kay wins these beautiful embellishments. These are like those letter seals and they are called Floral Romance Seals. Now, I don't know if you guys got the Floral Romance Bundle. I happen to have the paper right here. Let me see if I got the rest of it. Oh, I do, look at this. This is the stamp set. And I just had a big order come in. These are the framelits. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous, you guys. And let me show you the paper. This paper, is incredible. Um, we almost used some of it for Haley's Save the Date announcements. Um, we were kind of trying to figure out what we were going to do for that, but I have to show you this. Look at the vellum. This is vellum paper. You can see that you can see through it. It is so, so beautiful. Not all of it's vellum. This is designer series paper, and I don't have my little sampler that I usually make um, made up. There are I think this is a bigger pack of paper, so there are three of each one of these designs in here. Or is it all vellum? No, that's not vellum. Okay, this isn't vellum. Look at how pretty this is. <gasps> Such rich, beautiful colors and a real whitewashed, kind of tan um, wood grain on the back. And like I said, you get three of each sheet. This is vellum. You can, you can see my hand through it or my face. I know, Char, this is gorgeous, and I'll tell you the name of it in a minute because I don't even know. <laughs> Floral Romance Specialty Designer Series Paper. And, yeah, you get 12 sheets, and there are, let's see, four times three would be 12, four different designs rather than, we usually have six designs, but you get three of each sheet. So let me put this away so I don't wreck it. I have a habit of setting things up next to my desk, leaning up against my desk, and then they fall over and then I run over them with the wheels on my chair. That's totally not cool, right? Yeah, not cool at all. Okay, uh, next winner. <laughs> we kind of got off on a tangent there, didn't we? Let me put that back too. Okay, our next winner is Lisa Vandenelsen. Lisa, are you on tonight? I don't know if I saw your name. Lisa's going to win these, let me see if I can, there we go, these heart epoxy droplets. You can color these with your Stampin' Blend alcohol markers and they are absolutely gorgeous. I've been having so much fun with these. These are part of the bundle of products that you um, order with my newest online class. So I use them in there a lot. And then, our, and that was for sharing my video. So thanks, Pat. I see you just shared. My next winner is for her order throughout the last week. There's a drawing when you place an order with me. Becky 
Milton Berger from Umatilla, Oregon is our winner and she's going to win this Hey Love stamp set. We're going to be using this tonight. I know I showed it to you. Oh, I see Lisa's on. Congratulations, Lisa. I did show this to you last week, um, an idea with it, and I've got some more stuff up my sleeve. So let me set these items aside so that I do not put them someplace and can't find them because that happens to me. And I know it happens to you guys too. It's, um, it's, it's funny how we can't remember anything anymore. <laughs> I'm surprised my kids got out of here alive. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Okay, so let's see, what are we gonna make first? Um, I think, oh, I know, the card we're gonna make first is the um, Flowering Desert, Desert card. And, oh, Tammy had a question, but she figured it out. I'm glad because I missed your question. It's very hard for me to talk to you guys and do all these things and read your questions. So just know that if, if you have a question and I missed it, ask it again because um, this whole thing is a little tricky. <laughs> Let's just say that. So I've got a huge array of colors that I'm going to use for this card, and I think it's time for me to turn my camera around here. Hang on. We're going to spill out all the card guts. <laughs> Sounds kind of gross, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it is what it is, right? Okay. I think I'm ready to turn my camera around here. So if you get um, motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open them back up. Oh, and Karen said she can't wait to see the stamp set. Yay! And um, I'll tell you when to open your eyes back up because I'm going to flip now, and that's not always fun. So if we happen to get disconnected, pop right back on here, and I will come in with a new live video because it happens. And now I need to mirror. There we go. How would I do? I think I did pretty good. Um, I've got such a little window. Hang on, don't open your eyes yet. I'm going to move you up a little bit so I have a little bit more space here. Okay, does that look straight? I think it does. I think we're good. <laughs> Cindy says, oh, but you multitask amazingly well. You know what? I am a really good multitasker. I have to say, I will agree with you. But um, I'm finding that my memory is failing me a lot, and that's very frustrating, as I know you guys deal with a lot of that, too. Um, it's just one of those things, right? Okay, I want to make sure that I have a piece of ribbon that I tape across my, I tape across my um, desk so that I don't get too low, because I used to have a problem with that, too. <laughs> Boy, I've got a lot of problems. <laughs> no, we're good. All right, so I'm bringing in my cardstock layers for you. Now, when I get done with this video, I actually have everything typed up and ready to go on my blog except this video. So when I am done with this Facebook Live, I upload this to, well, first I download it to my computer. That takes, it can take up to an hour, and then I upload it to YouTube. That only takes a few minutes. Then I put it on my blog. So underneath are in the description of this video on Facebook, it's gonna have a link to my blog, but it's not gonna work until all this stuff is done and I post it. So just know that. And on there, I always put all the dimensions and I will copy and paste them into the description of this video on Facebook for you also, in case you're stamping tonight and you would like to make these right away. We have Sahara Sand that is four and a quarter by 11 and I've scored that at five and a half. And I see Heather is asking me if I am plugged in and I am Heather, but thank you for checking with me. Hang on, I'm gonna move that up a little bit. Then I got a piece of Whisper White that is four by five and a quarter and this is the inside. A piece of Bermuda Bay that is five or three and seven eighths by five and an eighth and then a white layer to go on top of that that is three and three quarters by five. Steve, I did not get my nails done again. <laughs> These are the same ones. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're too funny. What do you care? <laughs> yeah, I'm ignoring him kind of like normal. No, I don't ignore him. I'm, I'm, a, pretty, I'm a pretty decent, I'm a pretty decent wife. <laughs> 
before I cover everything up, make sure if you're going to place an order with me that you use this host code. You can find this on in the right-hand column of my blog all month long. It's right there for you. And this is my blog address. When you use that host code, um, you get special perks from me. Don't use it if your order is over $150 because you will get your own rewards. I'll still give you special perks. The other thing I want to tell you is if you're putting in an order that's $150, you should be ordering the discount shopper kit. So I'm, I'm just going to put it right out there. All right, um, ink colors. Let me turn this around so I know what it is. I have Granny Apple Green, Sahara Sand, Fresh Fig, Poppy Parade, Bermuda Bay, and Memento Black. <laughs> Cindy says, bad husband. Char, we do have a fun house. There is no doubt about it. <laughs> okay, so my husband just said, those hands touch me. They need to look good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, Steve. Jenny wants to know if you're going to share the video. All right. This little flowering desert stamp set is in the Occasions Mini Catalog. You get 16 different stamps in here. And can I just say, this just makes me happy. Like, it's cute and it's fun and it's happy and I love it. Um, and cactuses are super, super trendy right now, you guys. You're going to see them on clothing. You're going to see them on blankets. You're going to see them in home decor. If you go out shopping, you're going to see cactuses right now. They are super, super trendy. So this is what we're going to do. And I think this card just makes me laugh and it's stinking adorable. So hang on to your horses. <laughs> Don't let any tumbleweeds hit you in the butt. <laughs> I'm using Granny Apple Green, and I'm going to, oh, first thing I'm going to do, hang on, I almost forgot, because I did this on my, when I was creating this card, too. I have taken my Sahara Sand, and with these newer ink pads, you want to turn them upside down, and you want to give them a really good push, so that you get that ink in the lid, because we're going to, we're going to give our layer, our front layer, which is the smaller one, we're going to give this some ground. I'm a real weird about not stamping things so they're just like out there in never, never land. So I'm just going to come in here with that Sahara sand. Did you see how hard that was? Like, don't overthink this part. Just smear some color around and get on with your life. <laughs> That's the way I want to look at it. Just get on with your life. Okay, now we're going to take our cactus and we're going to put our cactus about mm, right here. And I think I'm going to have to stand up because I'm not seeing things very well. Um, okay, then they have all these little blob images that are super, super cute. This one's going in the Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to stamp that one right there. And then I'm going to come in with this little twiggy thing. And I'm going to put that in the Sahara sand. And I'm just going to stamp that right there. I'm going to do another one right over here. Did Steve tell you guys that we went out last night for his birthday? <laughs> um, my husband has these friends from high school, and we go every year we go out to eat with them in January because all three of them have birthdays in January, and it's just so cool. And I'm good friends with um, the wives of both of them, wife and girlfriend. And, uh, yeah, the boys went out to eat last night with us and can I just say that they may have had a few too many beverages and we were home by 10 o'clock. <laughs> wow, right? Yeah, that's living it, living it up. But it was fine with me because I got a bunch of work done then. <laughs> I came right in here. Okay, Poppy Parade is the color that I'm using for these cute little flowers and they just really kind of look like blobs, you guys. They're so funny. And I'm just going to put one, I want one to just be laying right on the ground like it fell off the cactus because, you know, sometimes that happens, right? Then I'm going to take the fresh fig and I'm going to come in right here. I'm going to put that fresh fig in here. And that's just kind of a neat contrasting color, don't you think? And last but not least, here comes my greeting. I'm going to use the You're So Awesome. And I'm just going to pop that right up here. And this can be sent to any one of you, any one of my friends, because they're awesome, right? And now 
we are going to layer this on the Bermuda Bay. And you guys saw how super easy this was. This card right now would count as a hashtag simple stamping card. And Stampin' Up! has kind of a campaign going right now that um, you make cards with just stamps, ink, and paper. And you post them online, any place online, except a private group because nobody can see what's in a private group. But you post them online with the hashtag. You put hashtag simple stamping. And they are picking, they picked out a hundred winners that won prizes just by doing that. This particular card would qualify for that right now because all I used was stamp, ink, and paper. So, um, this would be a perfect card for that. Oh, I forgot to do something. I don't want to forget this part. We're going to use these little bits. Oh, this is going to be a little tricky. Hang on. I got to get a scrap of paper here. Let's see. Oh, there went all my notes. I'm going to put this right up here so I don't get anything on my Bermuda Bay layer. But Sahara Sand, and I'm going to put these little these little cactus whiskers. I don't know what they're called. For those of you that live down in Arizona, you might know what those are called, but they're cute. And see the cactus whiskers, I guess? Hmm. Yes, yeah, Steve is feeling much better. Um, thank you for asking. The, they put him on a very high dose of prednisone and the steroids kicked in. Like By the next day, he was starting to feel better. So that's been fabulous. He's kind of... Um, Maybe feeling a little too good. He wants to get his Harley out. And I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> it's like 20 degrees. <laughs> okay. On the inside of my card, I want to do just this little cactus. I want to do just a little something something. And I'm going to do that. Okay. That's the inside of my card. Easy. Simple stamping. I've used nothing more than ink, paper, and stamps. For this card but it's such a cute stamp set right like how could you mess this up okay so I'm gonna do one more thing to this card are you guys ready for this because it's really cute all right I've got my pick take your pick tool yeah and Jenny Miller says that you can use a punch and that is the challenge this month that you can use a punch for your hashtag simple stamping submission Stampin' Up! added um, that you can use a punch. Did you see what I just did there? I just put two little dots of glue. Who knows Who knows what's coming in here? I love my Take Your Pick tool because I can pick up these little tiny googly eyes. And I am going to give my cactus some googly eyes. Why? because it is stinking hilarious. Hang on, because these always stick to my fingers. Gotta get them into place, make sure they stay there. <laughs> Who's laughing? <laughs> Look at my cactus. Oh my gosh, he's so funny. All right, so there's my fun for the night. No, we have lots more fun. Anyways, um, I love googly eyes, and this cactus is just funny now. And the... If somebody opens this and doesn't smile at this card, they don't deserve to get a card. Like, I'm cutting them off completely. <laughs> Kathy says, the stamp set is growing on her. I really like it for masculine cards. Yeah, it, at first when I saw it, I knew it was cute and I knew I wanted it, but I didn't order it until my second go-round. Um, after I looked at it a few times and, and went like, yep, I gotta have that because it is just so adorable. Okay, you guys, this was the Bermuda Bay layer underneath, okay? And then this one, I used the high there. And this one, I used Poppy Parade as the layer under there. Which one do you guys like better? Poppy Parade or the Bermuda Bay? Yeah, pretty cute, right? <laughs> it just makes me happy. Okay, <clears throat> we are going to get on to our next project. We'll see how many of these things we can get through. I think I'm gonna leave that out here. I'll put all these away. So have um, a drink of your beverage while I'm moving things around here. What are you guys drinking tonight? I'm still drinking Pepsi because I'm naughty and um, I'm addicted to it. I'll just put that right out there. Yeah, so I'm still drinking Pepsi, but it's gonna end shortly because um, 
yeah, my daughter is getting married this year and I am not going to be a fat mother of the bride. So <laughs> it's just not going to, it's not going to work for me at all. <laughs> all right, here comes our fun layers and we are going to be using the All My Love Designer Series paper for this super cute little project. It's quick and easy. I think you guys are going to love it. Ooh, look at these pretty little things. These are our frosted flower embellishments, and they are so, so pretty. They're a 3D item. Love them. I've also got some rhinestones and some acetate boxes. And then let me move this out of the way. I am using the Lovely Lipstick All My Love um, Ribbon Combo Pack. And then the greeting that I use today is from the Forever Lovely. And this, again, is my online class. So that's what I use for the latest online class. And here are all the beautiful images in there. Okay. I am going to... Hang on. I need to take a drink. Ooh. Bermuda Bay. Everybody's... Oh, most people, Bermuda Bay. Wow. Wow. We've got 301 people watching right now. That's awesome. Thank you guys all for tuning in. You're, every Sunday just makes my whole week. I'm like happy for the whole week. So thank you so much. Okay, so this is kind of a neat little project. And I'm going to take one of these acetate boxes. Now these boxes are really cool. You get 10 of them in a bag. and um, Or a pack, I should say. They're located on page 193 of our annual catalog. And who's drinking blah water? Water just sucks the life, sucks the joy right out of my life. I hate it, but I'll be drinking it soon. So, <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it in half. So you can do this several different ways. And what I like to do is bring in my paper trimmer and um, half of this box is going to be cut at, hang on, I measured it. Two and seven eighths from where it would fold here. So two and seven eighths, I'm putting that uh, edge of the box and then it folds down, right? At two and seven eighths, that's gonna be half a box. And now I'm going to move my scoring blade out of the way and I'm going to, maybe, let's see how this works. I am going to use my blade and cut this in half. So I'm going to run it back and forth a few times. We'll see. We might may have to use our scissors. I just happened, when I made this project, I had a box already cut in half, so I haven't done this for a while. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, pretty cool, right? Okay, so now you can make two of these if you wanted to. <laughs> Jean says I'm the highlight of her Sunday nights. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. Barbara, I'm glad you got on from San Bernardino, California. I'm sure it's pretty warm there, right? And um, Megan just asked me where is 7 eighths. Okay, so here I'll have a little ruler lesson. Let me get this out of the way because it's glaring at you. So in between the inches, okay, we know the quarter, the half, and the three-quarter, right? Those are easy. But every single one of these little tiny hash marks is an eighth of an inch. No, I'm sorry. It's a sixteenth of an inch. And then the little bit larger ones are eighth of an inch. Seven eighths is two little marks before the next inch. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, I know sometimes measuring can be, you know, it can be kind of frustrating, tricky, whatever. I totally get it. I have to find my ink pad. Um, hang on. It's in a different bin. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get... I've got an oval from the Stitch Shapes ovals on Whisper White, and then I also did the layering ovals in Lovely Lipstick. We're gonna stamp the Wishing You a Lovely Day, and that comes from this Forever Lovely stamp set. Hang on, I gotta stand up to see if, make sure I can get this in here straight. I'm gonna try really hard. Yay. Okay. Now, this designer series paper that I'm using is the All My Love designer series paper. I've had tons of people ask me um, if I can share this with them, and I cannot. 
This is nothing more than a piece of white cardstock and you type up the name of the paper and all the coordinating colors and you print it out. So none of this stuff is on here. That's all that's on this piece of paper. You guys are more than welcome and to do this and it's super, super easy for you to do. So um, I actually subscribe to a service that provides this for me and that's why I can't share it with you. But all you have to do is type up the name and then the coordinating colors right here and then each one of these has a solid piece of cardstock under it. The solid piece is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Then you're gonna cut your designer series paper three by three and then diagonally so you can flip it over and show what's on each side. Does I hope that makes sense. So, and I know we have a lot of new people here. I will explain what this is. This is one of our piercing mats, okay? And you should just use this to stamp on because it's firm, but it gives a little extra cushion. And here's a little tip for you. This flower did not want to stamp when I had my envelope laying on this hard surface. Okay, let me try that. I'm going to show this to you. I might do this for a tip video too, so don't get mad that I'm already showing it. Um, let me get this scrap of paper under here again. So when I inked this up and I stamped it on this hard surface, see that? You see that hole in the middle? It doesn't turn out. And then people think something is wrong with their stamp. Like something's wrong with the stamp. It doesn't work right. You would think that a very hard surface like this is the best surface to stamp on, but it's not. Especially with photopolymer stamps. You need a little bit of cushion. Look at how that doesn't have that hole in the middle, right? So I'm telling you, piercing mat, get yourself some. <laughs> I take these to all of my stamping um, stamp clubs and my card buffet. Everybody gets one of these to stamp on. All right, so enough of that. There's your, there's your piercing mat lesson, your designer series paper lesson. Gosh, I'm just a wealth of knowledge, aren't I? <laughs> Better not sprain my arm patting myself on the back. Okay. Next, I'm going to take this designer series paper. Now, remember that this, oh, did I tell you? I don't even know if I did. Um, this designer series paper is four and three eighths by six, and we are going to score that. So I don't know why I put my paper trimmer away. You're gonna score it on the long side. And we're gonna score that at two and three quarters. So I'm moving it up to two and three quarters and three and a quarter. Just like that. Now I know you can't see those score lines, but you're going to just have to trust me and take my word for it that they're there. <laughs> okay. Just like this. That's what you're going to do. That's what our score line did. Okay. And then we're going to put our half a box together. And you just push these edges and it goes right in to shape. Now, this whole box will fit cards. You can fit a bunch of cards and envelopes in here. It, these are really cool if you haven't seen them before. Here is our little half of a box. Now, I'm going to keep that tab thing in the back. You're going to take this piece, and you're going to slide it down in here. And now you've just made the most simple and amazing gift card holder, little gift holder, whatever, in the history of stamping. <laughs> um... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, somebody just asked about this. I have this covered with printing paper. So I wrap printing paper around it and tape it in place so I don't get ink all over it. Thank you, Barbara. Um, yeah, that's what I did here. Okay, so you can fit a gift card in here. You can fit a pack of like Trident gum, you know, the flat packs of gum. If anybody would like to buy me a new vehicle, I have no heat in my truck. So keys would fit in here quite nicely, I'm sure. And I'm totally kidding. <laughs> um, next, we need to put some handles on this. So here's what I did. The ribbon is 23 inches long, and I'm going to bring in the tear and tape. And I'm going to figure out where I want, hang on, where I want my handles to be. So I'm going to start my handles right here, and they're going to go around. This is way easier than the sample I made because <laughs> sometimes I get really smart after I make something. <laughs> this is a way better, way better way to do it than I did it. So there you go. 
Um, here we go. Oops. And then we're going to do this again with the tear and tape. So, and you're going to want to try to get it the same distance from the edge that you had it before. Don't put it all the way up to the top because there's no paper like for that last sixteenth of an inch there. I hope this is the same. We're going to press that down, wrap it around the bottom, bring it right back up here, tear it off. Okay. I want to press that down good. Oh, that looks so crooked, you guys. Um. I'm going to bring in my pokey tool. Yep, it's going to be crooked, and that's okay. You'll do better. Okay, peel this off, and now you're going to bring in your ribbon. And I'm going to take my ribbon, and I'm going to put it right down here at the bottom, and I'm going to press it into my tear and tape. Oops, that's crooked. Hang on. Oh, that's way crooked. So maybe I'm not as smart as I think I am. <laughs> and then you're going to make a little handle like this. Now I'm going to peel this other side off. Don't set this down on anything because it'll stick to it. Remember, tear and tape is super, super strong. And now we're going to come over here. You're going to leave just a little bit of a loop there for like, you know, a little handle. And wrap this around here. What do you guys think so far? Isn't this cute? <gasps> yeah. And this piece is going to get over here. You want your loops to be about the same height, right? And we're going to do, and you want them to meet at the bottom. Now we're going to have to trim this one off just a touch. And I'm going to trim that. Oops, oh, my scissors got some sticky on them. And then I'm going to grab a mini glue dot. And I'm going to put that right under this ribbon that's sticking up to hold it down. <gasps> Look at how cute that is, right? Yeah, it's pretty crooked, but that's okay. Because you know what? It's handmade. This is not, we're not manufacturing stuff here. We are making handmade little gift holders. Okay, and I see that my um, comments are not scrolling up, you guys. So that's why I miss a lot of stuff, too. I don't know what the deal is. They should be scrolling along along with you. When you say something and the next person does, it should pop up, but it doesn't. Okay, so here comes dimensionals. And we're going to add this to the front of our little container. Now, you, of course, could make this as fancy as you want or as simple as you want. This one is pretty darn simple. You could have little sprigs coming off under here and all kinds of, you know, really, really cute things. Um, I think that the designer series paper kind of works for itself here. Now, here comes these stinking adorable flowers. And I'm going to take my dark flirty flamingo um, marker and I'm going to color one of my flowers pink. These are peach, they're not pink. So I wanted a pink flower. I'm going to color that. And I'm going to bring this little flower in. And I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to set one of these tiny little rhinestones. Maybe. I was wearing one on my sleeve earlier. It was really pretty. But I picked it off by accident. Whoops. Here we go. Whoops. Okay, so this is the most challenging part. <laughs> that little rhinestone is going to give us a really hard time. Just trying to get that in the middle. There we go. <gasps> Look at how cute that is. I love this. I love this little box. This is so easy, isn't it? So now, look at this. Now we have a little gift box to go with our card. And how stinking sweet is that? This is just adorable. These cards are so... The paper, the stamp set, the die is amazing. Don't forget that when you order the four products from me, which include the designer series paper, the ribbon combo pack, the epoxy hearts, and um, oh, the bundle, bundle, paper, hearts, ribbon. When you order those things from me, you get my online class for free and that's a $25 value for free. 
So there's our next project. Oh, and I wanted to show you this one. Oh, look, my little rhinestone didn't stay in place. Hang on, I must not have pushed that down very good. That little bugger. There we go. Um, this one is made out of the different paper. And look at it, it's spaced properly. <laughs> It's a lot of pressure to make stuff while you guys are staring at me, you know. <laughs> so there's two of them with different paper. All right, we're going to be on to the next card. Um, make sure you take a drink of your beverage now while I switch over to the next project. What else am I going to need to leave here? I think I need my lovely lipstick. I need to clean this stamp. That I practiced with the envelope and get all this stuff out of the way. Okay. So, did you guys all have a good weekend? I, um, what did I do this weekend? Friday, I'm trying to think, what did I do Friday? Hmm. Thursday night, I went out to eat with some girlfriends. That was fun. I think I stayed home Friday night. And then, um... Last night, we went to Blank Supper Club. I love, love, love supper clubs. Um, that's a Midwest thing, I think. And supper clubs have usually homemade food, and it's the best food, and it's delicious. And they're known for their seafood and their steaks. And oh, so, so good. Okay, I am going to bring in my next card here. Now, this is a shaker card. And we're going to use crumb cake and tulle ribbon. And I have some hearts. I told you guys I was going to show you things with the foil sheets tonight. And I will not disappoint. Oh, and I need to let you know, I have a blog hop that's going to go live tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Central Time. And the blog hop will also be using the foil sheets. So make sure you check that out. It's going to be on my blog, obviously. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. Where did my, oh, there it is. So yeah, more foil sheets. I have two more cards that I'm gonna put on my blog hop using the foil sheet. So you're gonna, you're gonna love those. All right, we're gonna get out the cardstock layers here. And I need to dump out, hang on, I gotta get a drink. Barbara's trying to cook dinner and watch the video. <laughs> I know, somebody told me once that their husband came up and started talking to them in the middle of my video to tell them about maybe they should go on a cruise, and she was absolutely appalled. Who was that? That was so funny. I almost spit out my Pepsi when I read that. Okay, you guys. Um, I need to grab framelits. Oh, here we go. Now, besides the Forever Lovely, Lovely Bundle, we also have the Meant to Be Bundle. And this is on the back page of that Forever Lovely. And oh my gosh, these are just so beautiful. So there's a ton of stamps in here. Um, I've got tons of little images cut out that I didn't use yet. And I wanna show you these framelits. Be Mine Stitched Framelits because they're crazy. Look at all these images that you get. It's just nuts. There's two sheets of dies. These are all, all I, I put these all in different colors so you can see how many different hearts you get out of these heart framelits. It's crazy. I don't know why I was just messing with my screen. Oh, and Cindy says she's never heard of a supper club. Yeah, a supper club is a bar with an eating establishment. The lights are usually dark. They serve old fashioned drinks a lot. That's what people order a lot when they go there. And they have the most amazing food, always a salad bar. Um, oh, they're just fabulous. Okay, back to this. <laughs> I'm gonna get hungry talking about it. So look at all these cool images. You have this heart that cuts out all, cuts out and leaves behind this really cute image, but then it has all these hearts too. And we have a flourish and a little flower and a rose. And this you can do all the way across like the bottom of a layer and it leaves those little holes in it. This is another image right here that leaves a stitch and a tiny little scalloped edge. So that's really cute. 
Then I didn't even know this, you guys. Two of these heart dies that are on here, two of these heart dies actually don't cut it out. They just cut out the stitching and leave that in there. Can you see that good? Isn't that cool? I had no idea. I like was just going to cut them out. And then I'm like, holy cow, that's cool. And then this is another image. And the little heart right here is coming from right here. So another amazing set of framelits. I absolutely love them. I'm going to leave these out because we're going to use these for our shaker card. Oh, let me put this away. I don't want to misplace things. I hate it when I lose stuff. I still, for you guys that, um, remember I was talking about the Christmas presents that I lost? Um, two Christmas presents. I put them in a bag. I cleaned out this room. I don't know what I did with them. I still have not found them. But in my defense, I haven't been upstairs to <laughs> do anything either. <laughs> okay, I've got a window sheet here. And what I did with the window sheet is I took this largest heart framelit and I die cut that on the window sheet, okay? When you do that, you're going to get a window sheet heart and also this little outline comes with it. It comes with this. So you get two different dies out of that. And I see I must have got some glue or something on here. Anyways, this is gonna be this is gonna be our um, window. Hang on, I'm trying to get that off of there for our shaker card. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And then I took the gorgeous, here we go, let's get this out. This is the Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick Foil Sheets. These are free. These can be your free item during celebration, and they are absolutely gorgeous and amazing. Isn't that pretty? I hope that's not blinding you. I know it's really um, very cool. And then this is the lovely lipstick. And these are both foil sheets. They're absolutely gorgeous. They die cut like a dream. They die cut so easily. Oh yeah, that's really crazy, isn't it? Um, I don't know if it kind of takes down some of the color, but these are beautiful. So let me set that aside. I'll show you what I did with mine. I took the um, I took this die again and I die cut on the foil sheet and I got these two pieces and of course this one was solid. Then I took well, let me map this out for you. So I did this die for these two pieces. Hang on. And then I took this heart, which does the same thing this one does. It cuts out the inside and it cuts out the outside, just like this, okay? So then I set this in the middle of that great big heart and die cut this out of there. Now, I am going to take, we're not gonna even use this, we're just gonna use this part. And I'm going to take this heart and set it back in place. And I want to secure this. So I'm just going to put some teeny weeny little pieces of tape on it to make sure it stays in here where it belongs. Because I want to keep that in there. Now I could have changed the color on that. You could make it a different color if you want, which would be really cool. But I didn't need to do that for this card. There we go. Okay, so that piece is going to stay in there. Now we're gonna take this window sheet and we're gonna add that to the back. And in order to do that, I'm gonna use some mini glue dots. So we're just gonna stick a few of those. We don't, you don't need too many, you don't have to go crazy with this, nothing's gonna happen. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I gotta go the right way. <laughs> I think three glue dots are plenty on here. And now I'm just going to add this I want to make sure you line it up just right so you don't have that window sheet sticking out in front. There we go. Okay, so now we have a window here. Here's where the fun comes in. I am going to bring in my foam adhesive strips. I'm going to pull one of these little buggers off of here. And I just pulled on that so the backing already came off. If you want, if you can leave the backing on until you're ready to take it off, it would be a, probably a better idea. 
but that's not the way it worked out here for me. You're just going to go all the way around this. Now you want to keep this far enough away from that window that you don't see these adhesive strips in the window, right? Whoops. So I'm leaving just a little bit of a margin there. Oh. Huh. There we go. And I'm going to push that, butt that right up against there. Here's my little scissors. There we go. Okay. Peel that backing off. Now, I took that shape, this heart shape right here, and I die cut that in the foil sheets. So I have this beautiful thing. Oh, gorgeous, right? But we don't need that right now. What we do need are all the little hearts that fell out of this, and I put those in just a little container. So, now you're going to place these face down in your window. And the reason why you want them face down is because you want to see this color on the front of them. If you wanted to, I thought I could have done a bunch of different colors of hearts, but I just kept it, whoops, I got a hair in there or something. <laughs> no, don't put your hair in there. Nobody wants your pieces of hair in there or mine. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Elaine, for that prayer. That is super sweet. Elaine says, little Jesus lost and found bring Kelly's lost gifts around. Thank you. That is so nice. Yeah, I hope I find them someday because I can't, I can't replace one of them. I already did replace the little blanket that I bought for my niece. It was a mermaid tail blanket and I just saw her on Saturday. Oh, that's what we did. My niece, Emma, is 16 and she is on the dance team, and we went and watched her competition in Kakana on Saturday. Okay, so we're just going to throw a bunch of hearts in there. You don't need that many of them. And then I also took that same framelit. So I'm just working with the same framelit, and I cut out a white piece. The white piece we're going to stamp on, and we're going to use crumb cake ink. And I've got the, oh, I don't even have the stamp set out for you guys. This is the Hey Love. Hey Love. Yeah, I don't sing. Well, I do, but not for anybody. Um, we're going to stamp the You Otter Be My Valentine right in the middle here. And then we'll see how well we did. Now, I don't know of another way that's better to do this, but I can't just slap this on here because what if my words aren't in the middle of my window? So what I do... <clears throat> as I kind of hold it up in the air, and I know you guys aren't going to be able to see this, but I get underneath of it so I can see the words. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get underneath of it so I can see the words, and that's too high. Hang on. And then I stick it together. <laughs> I hope that made sense. Hologram, yes, Cindy, that's what that paper was doing, right? Okay. I'm scrolling up again. Oh, Elaine says the springs took second. Good for them. Okay, so here's our cool little shaker. And we've got a little static cling going on here in Wisconsin. So those hearts are kind of getting static clingy. But see how messed up this is, like it's sticking out? You're just going to go back here and trim this off. And you're just going to cut it because nobody's going to see that back side and you have room around those adhesive strips. And I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but this is how I do it, and it works. It's probably um, bass backwards, as we say. <laughs> okay, now these pieces that I didn't even use, I'm just gonna take all these and again, throw them in with my framelits so that I can use them on some other project. But now we're gonna make the rest of our card. And here comes the smaller crumb cake layer. This is three and three quarters by five. And now I'm gonna grab this cute little sleeping otter. He's so adorable. The one thing you wanna do here is make sure that we're gonna stamp him randomly on this layer, but you wanna make sure that you stamp one about mm, right there, start there, because we need to see one of our little otter guys. And now I'm just going to go around and fill up 
and you could stamp them in all different directions if you wanted to. I just like my otter to be right side up. <laughs> I don't know why it matters. Like, who cares, right? But it does. <laughs> it's it's the anal thing in me that makes me want it to be that way. And I think I need just a little bit something over here and right there. Oh, and right here is blank. Okay, so that's what I did. Now, your heart is going to go right in here. So we're going to cover up all that. But I'm going to grab my Stampin' Write marker. And let me find it here. Because it is not in the bin anymore. Did you guys see the lovely lipstick? I've got the marker pack here. Oh, here it is. We're going to grab lovely lipstick. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to color all these little hearts. And not all, just the ones that you can see. So this is super easy. Just adds a little bit of interest to your card background, right? And we'll do just a little bit of this one because it's gonna stick out a little bit. And yeah, that's it. Okay, hee <laughs> hee. Um, tool ribbon. This is going to be a bow on the front of our layer. So let me get this tied up. I'm getting hungry. Who's hungry? Your otter don't care. <laughs> I know, Cindy. I have a little OCD. A little bit. I'm not real weird about a lot of things, but like my husband, um, he teases me because I don't like to eat things for breakfast that aren't breakfast foods. Like you'll never find me eating pizza for breakfast and never cold pizza ever. But, um, you know, we'll have lots of food in the fridge, but I will make, well, he usually makes breakfast, but I'll make eggs or something because that's a breakfast food. It's just a weird thing that I have. A little odd things like that. A little OCD, yeah. Okay, this ties up so nice. You get the cutest little bows out of this ribbon. There we go. Now we can adjust it to wherever we need it here. And where'd my card base go? Right here. We're gonna take our crumb cake card base. This is gonna be a tone on tone card. And I'm gonna glue this on. Just like this. Oh, 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 on to here. <laughs> Put it on your white layer. You have two whisper white layers that are four by five and a quarter. And we're gonna put this on here and then onto our card base. Oh, I almost blew that, didn't I? And look how that makes that pop. It just adds so much more to your card, just having that extra layer under there, don't you think? Yeah, I can have breakfast for dinner too. So Mary, um, I can eat breakfast any time of the day, but I don't like eating other meals when you're supposed to have breakfast because that's weird. <laughs> Put your heart in here. I'm just gonna glue this right on. It's gonna go right in here. Make sure it sticks to my card front. And while that's drying, we're gonna decorate up the inside. And I see that I don't have my second layer of Whisper White cardstock, so let me grab one. I keep extra four by five and a quarters all cut up in my drawer with my cardstock because that's the color that I use the most, or the layers that I use the most. And then I'm going to bring in, I think I've got the Happy Valentine's Day. Yep, here comes my Happy Valentine's Day in lovely lipstick. Just like that. And I might have just blown it. I should have probably added this. I want this in here. Yeah, I'm going to restamp that because I want that to be a little higher. I forgot about that. Perfect. Okay. And then here comes my silicone craft sheet. Whoops, that's brand new glue. I don't want that one. You can see I've been doing a lot of this sponge gluing. I have a little sponge, and this is the way I'm going to put this on my layer. 
Now, as long as I had to cut that out to get those hearts, I might as well use it, right? And then, as long as we're decorating the inside, let's decorate the inside. So, here we go. Take my pick tool. I'm going to put one right up here. Just like that. And then maybe a smaller one right over here. Oops, get a little more glue out there. Oh, I think that's going to be too much, you guys. Let me pick some of that up. Yep. Okay. There we go. Get that in the garbage before I glue all over myself. And here comes our super cute little shaker card. Lisa says breakfast for dinner is the best. I know, right? I make the best buttermilk pancakes in the history of buttermilk pancakes. I'm trying to get that. There's that last heart going down. You ought to be my Valentine. What do you guys think about that pink in those little hearts? I think that just is kind of cute, right? Yay! So there's another card with that Hey Love stamp set. And don't forget these things that I made. Here's the ape, and this again is from the heart um, framelits, the bee stitched, or meant to be. Yeah, bee stitched, I think it's called. Be mine, that's what it's called. Be mine stitched. Holy cow, that was hard. And then don't forget this little cutie, because this is just adorable. So yeah, this is all made with that Hey Love Valentine set. So lots of cute ideas with that. All right, hang on just a second. Let me get this cleared away here. Oh, there's my basket. Uh, I'll set that over there. Might still need that. Um... Okay, put away, did you guys see my, oh, here's my otter, I was going to go, where did my otter go? Put this way, and I'm going to save these because I can use these for other things, right? Use those for all kinds of things. Now, I have one more um, lovely lipstick foil card, but it is already after 8 o'clock. And I know that some of you do have some things you need to do. And I don't like you keep to keep you for super, super long. So how about if I grab some swaps and I'll share those with you. And I'll save that other card for next week because it's stinking adorable. Let me bring out these cards. Here we go. And here's our little treat or gift card holders. And our adorable little cactus. Oh my gosh, I just love him. Don't forget if you're going to place your order to use my host code here. And hang on while I grab, um, I have a ton of swaps that I've received in the mail and I would just love to share them with you. So let me find them. Here we go. Oh, here's some. I'll share a bunch of these with you. If anybody has any questions that I did not answer, I apologize. Um, oh, hi, Mary Ann's, I don't know how to say survey. I'm glad you could join us. Oh, Haley must be on here. Haley was over earlier today, and I was asking her advice on a bunch of different things. She's always very helpful. What did she tell me? Oh, the card that we didn't do. She gave me some good advice on that. So, yeah, I'll share that with you next week. But let's look at these swap cards because they're very, very pretty. Okay, same thing, Forever Lovely. And this uses Coastal Cabana. And isn't that so pretty with that designer paper? This is the this is the All My Love Designer Series paper. Can you guys see that okay? Because these all have plastic envelopes on them and I don't want to take them out. It's just kind of a pain. I'll try to keep the glare to a minimum. Okay. This one's pretty. This uses the um, Needle Point Nook Designer Series paper and the framelit. I love the font on these words. Here's another one with the Needle Point Nook. Isn't that pretty? 
I love this flourish in the stitched um, image that comes out from under that paper is absolutely gorgeous. It's all needlepoint. Then, oh, that's cute. Oh, I didn't even realize that little heart fit in there. See? And there's that edge, that edge die that I showed you. Here's another really pretty one. Easy, super simple, right? Valentine's. Here's one of those hearts colored in, the epoxy heart. Pretty. Ooh, look at this. That's really pretty. And there's that edge again. Love it. Father's Day. This is the classic garage, I think it's called. I do have some cards made with that that I'll be sharing with you in the near future, you guys. Mary Hendrickson, you try that shaker box. That that Those are fun. Isn't that cool? I love these little tools that are part. There's a wrench. Here's a key. Very cool, bro. <laughs> oh, and here's our gingham gala. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love those little flower sequins. And that flax ribbon, one of my favorites. Another one with the needlepoint nook. Very, very pretty. And that gingham ribbon. Gingham is really hot. Another trendy thing. This is the Lasting Lily. This is a level two celebration set that's free with your $100 order. You can choose this. It's a really big stamp set. I have some more. Oh, this is, I love this set. I can't remember what it's called, but it's super cute. Incredible Like You, I think it's called, and I love it. And then here's some of the Botanical Butterfly. This is the free Celebration Designer Series paper. With your $50, you get this for free. It's a whole pack of 12 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. And there's that flax ribbon again. And that um, garage, uh, what is that called? That man stamp set with the car in it. Yeah, that ribbon. <laughs> I love this new embossing folder. And speaking of embossing folders, my um, blog hop that I'm doing tomorrow is going to use this embossing folder. This is called the lace embossing folder and it's on that page I think with the romance bundle. It is so pretty. Okay, let me get the glaring out of your eyes. Look at this. The botanical butterfly designer series paper that's free. It's all pretty and butterfly on one side and then it's black and white on the other. Absolutely love that. Here's some more gingham. Gotta love that very trendy. This is another free stamp set during celebration. I don't remember what it's called. I haven't used it. Um, well, I did make one card with it so far. I'll be sharing that in a video soon. Oh, I see Haley saying, hi, mom. <laughs> hi, Haley. And then, oh, now this has, this is so pretty, but this is that same all my love paper. And when you use it with the reds, it kind of gives it a whole different look, doesn't it? I love this. Very, very pretty. And the Butterfly Gala. Okay, you guys. Don't forget to share my video if you came on late. Click on that share button. That really helps me out. Click on that like button that's right up there. If you're watching later on YouTube, please share my video. You can do that there, too. And click on the notification, that little bell. That'll give you notifications when I have new videos showing up. Let me know also on YouTube if you like the Bermuda Bay layer or if you like the Poppy Parade layer because I want to hear from you guys too. Okay, use the host code if your order's under $150. If your order's over $150, stop yourself and order the discount shopper kit. You get $175 with the product for $99. And there's no joke. No strings attached, no weirdness. There is, you know, it's usually, people say it's too good to be true. It sounds too good to be true, but I am telling you, and you can mark my words, it's not too good to be true. It really is. $99, you choose $175 in any product you want. Plus, you get a paper pumpkin kit, which adds $20 more to your $175 kit. Plus, you have no shipping fees. On $175, that would be $17.50 you're saving there, plus a $20 paper pumpkin kit. So now we're up to $37.50 over and above the $175. It's just a fabulous deal. 
Yeah, so did anybody have any questions that I did not answer? I am scrolling through. Are the keys and the wrench tin enough to mail? Thin enough to mail. Um, yeah, so here's what I do. And I have this, where did those man cards go? Here they are. Okay, so these are a low profile embellishment, which is a really good question. And I will take some really crummy, I have some crummy white cardstock. And I just take a layer, it's a quarter sheet, and I put it like this, and then I slide the cards into my envelope. That keeps that bump down. The other thing that you want to do is when you're putting them in your envelope, make sure that anything bumpy isn't down near the bottom, but instead I will turn it around so that it's more up towards the flap. That way when the mail is running through the machines, it's not getting caught up here because there's bumpy stuff here. The bumpy stuff's up there and it won't cause any problems. You should be able to mail these without any problem as long as you cover them with something. So that was a really good question. Thank you for asking. Look, I've got things sticking to me. Um, I didn't see if Shelby White is on here tonight. Shelby, if you're on here, um, I will be calling you shortly to book your home party. So I'm going to call you tonight. I know I had a voice message from you. And, oh my gosh, you guys, um, can you please show that beautiful Lily card again? Okay, I'm just looking through my messages. This one right here. Is this the one that you wanted to see, Denise? Yeah, it's got a doily down here. And you know what? That doily isn't even current. Who sent this? Huh, interesting. Anyways, that's a no-no in our world. <laughs> Donna says, when I add a sheet to cover the card to protect embellishments, I emboss it so there's another pretty piece of paper. Oh, that's a really cool idea, Donna. That's that little extra step that makes your stuff really special, right? Love that. Love that. Okay, did I miss any other questions? Is this a doily die, Denise? Okay, so good, because um, the person who made this definitely would know better. <laughs> this is um, one of our doily dies. So thank you for telling me that. Oh, is that from the Darling Doily? I have two of those framelit sets. I must have ordered the framelit. I must have put in two item codes. And instead of getting the bundle, I got two framelit sets and no stamp set. Isn't that grand? I don't know what I did. Anyways, it happens. Um... Mary says, always pay the extra postage so they don't go through the machine, but I know they don't always follow the rule. That's right. And you guys know, I just keep those um, extra ounce stamps in my drawer. So if I think I've got something that's too bulky, I'll just throw one of these on there with my regular stamp. And I, I don't know, nobody's ever said anything to me. I would hope that if you guys get something with postage due, you would let me know because that's kind of crappy, don't you think? I don't want to be sending you stuff you have to pay money for. That's hateful. So, okay. Um, thank you, Sheila. Thank you, everybody. Oh, thanks, Yolanda. I'm glad you told me that because I'm like, hey, those doilies are retired. But, um, yeah, I need to get that set out and use it, too. What else? Uh, Marsha's on here, I see. Do you have directions for the nugget card? Oh, Linda, great question. So that little nugget holder, that was part of a video. Um, you'll find it on my blog. Yeah, there's a video showing you how to do that. I believe it's from last Thursday, which would be the 10th of January. So just last, last week, I think, from the 10th. Yeah, any of the projects that I show you, other than swap cards, of course, because I didn't make these, but any of the projects that I show you that are mine, you'll find a video on my blog for is there sales tax charged on the discount shopper order? Um, if you're buying the discount shopper kit, yes, there's sales tax on it. No shipping. If you live in a no sales tax state, though, then there's no sales tax. Like I just had a lady from Delaware order it, and um, she has no sales tax in her state, and it's no shipping. So she will pay $99, no more, for her kit. So, yeah, good, good questions. Um, I don't think I missed anything else, and I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I've got my legs crossed. <laughs> 
and I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, you'll find lots of good stuff coming out on my blog this week. Make sure you check that out, www.estampabove.com. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Please feel free to pop me a private message with your address. Be happy to send you catalogs. And um, caring is sharing, so make sure you hit that share button. Thanks, you guys, so much for participating, for your support, for your comments, for your camaraderie and your friendship. Your orders are always appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, too. You don't want to miss anything I have on there. Have a great week. Bye-bye.